Okay, today we have an interesting one. Um, I'm going to get into the Evergoods CHZ26. This is the 2022, so this is the new materials. But first, on the last video, I did mention I was testing out the Verdix Gamut 2.0. Unfortunately, I didn't test it very long. Um, it's okay. There's, there's some things I don't love about it. These snaps here with the zippers and they are YKKs, but they just, I, maybe I just didn't spend enough time breaking it in. Um, but unfortunately for me, I might use it to like put some gear in or something right there. There's another like, right, like it's snagged right there and there's just too much dangly stuff and too much stuff on it. So, um, let me get that charging cord out of the way. <clears throat> just, it, it didn't, there's this really cool, if you're familiar with off body carry from a firearm standpoint, um, <clears throat> there's this really cool, I actually wrapped the handle back in here, but there we go. Um, where it's got this big old handle, so you can open up real quick with this, with this you know, quick grab zipper thing. I just, I didn't love it. So, let's talk about the CHC 26, because I do love this thing. So I have a CHC Civic Half Zip, I have a 22, I've had it for a little while, it's been my pretty much go-to for my everyday carry um, <clears throat> uh, backpack. However, uh, I changed positions job-wise and there's a couple more pieces of gear that I typically take. So I got this and I'm absolutely in love. First of all, with the new materials, I absolutely love them. Uh, the, the back, I, I feel is really super comfortable as well. I like the look to it. So that was even cooler. Um, it kind of stands, kind of doesn't. So there is that. Um, can't be perfect, right? But one of the cool things that I tried and I absolutely completed this past week, week and a half ago, whatever it was, is I decided it's 26 liters and that to me is great for every day, but could I really take an overnight trip with it? And sure enough, I can take an overnight trip with it. And I did. So I flew to Indianapolis from Pennsylvania um, with just this backpack. And so let's just dive into it and, and I'll show you what, what we got, right? So uh, it does make this weird little depth thing. I will say Evergoods is phenomenal with the additional volume they have in each of their pockets. It was incredible. It really was uh, as I was traveling because 26 liters for me is a real stretch. Uh, I did not have to take another pair of shoes or otherwise this probably would not have worked. I could use the same shoes for the both days that I was traveling. So uh, outside water bottle pockets, I do right now I'm rocking a uh, Camelback chute. It's a uh, 32 ounce. And as you see, it gets swallowed in there. Perfect. Um, I think Chase Reeves always promotes the Camelback chute. And I was like, eh, I don't have, you know, there's like this little magnetic thing that, you know, is really cool because it just kind of holds back like that, right? So the cap doesn't hit you while you're taking a sip. And I thought, whatever. Um, and then I went to my new company sales kickoff and I got one with, with the brand on it. And I was like, okay, I think I'm going to rock this thing. Because I was always like, I need a straw. Um, because I think about like if I'm driving in the car, I don't want to be like trying to do one of these things and hitting the, the roof and the ceiling of the car. But it worked out really well. That was loud. All right. Second, uh, I put sunglass holder with sunglasses. Uh, I carry two pair in here. Um, just really simple. This is a sunglass holder I got off of Amazon. Um, Civilian is the brand. It's just a really nice hard case for travel. Um, I like to protect my sunglasses. So there it is. All right. <clears throat> outside of that, here we go. Um, those are the only two real outside pockets. There is a quick access pocket up here, which I absolutely love, right? So lotion, uh, charging cables, some business cards, you know, the, the normal. Uh, oh, I'll talk about this in a moment too. So let me just take all this stuff out because I will actually chat about, oh, I've got some extra contacts and stuff. I'm just gonna leave that in there. And there is a key leash. So there's a key leash in there, which is really cool for me. Anytime I fly, um, it's one of the first like little organizational things I do is I'll pull my keys out of my pocket cause I'm not going to need them cause I'm traveling and I always put them on the key leash. So then I don't have to worry about it when I get home uh, and land that I don't know where they're at. So, all right, we'll slide that off to the side for this trip. I picked up a couple new, um, toys. So this is a anchor. I think it's 10,000 milliamps. Um, it's got, um, uh, 
regular USB, USB-C, it does wireless charging, and honestly, I, I thought it might be a gimmick at first, but it's got this really cool like hook that comes out, and oh, my phone's uh, recording right now, so I don't have a phone to show you, but you sit your phone in there. Now, it doesn't charge at the same time, but I am somebody who, when I'm at my desk or whatever in the hotel room, I like to have my phone just sitting on display, um, so it's kind of neat. You can put it in there and, um, and that, so anyhow. Uh, Anchor, I forget the brand or the model or whatever, but it's awesome. The wireless charging was super cool. Uh, multiple times I just took it and uh, if you have a rubber band or whatever, because it doesn't, it's not mag, uh, it's not magnetic, but um, just threw it together and dropped it in like the pocket of the airplane in the front, uh, like the back of the seat in front of me. And that was super cool. It just sat there charging while I was, you know, listening to music or, or an audio book. So, all right, let's dive into the bag itself. Um, this was my complete loadout, right? Um, so I used the Bellroy Dop Kit. So I got everything in there for a day of travel, probably more than that. I got my Christian planner and a Rhodia tablet because I usually go somewhere and I'm always writing with paper. I'm using the Bellroy uh, Tech Kit, um, which I really, really appreciated this during the, during the trip. Um, so I got this thing stuffed, as you can see, like a presenter and uh, adapters, cables. I have HDMI cable in there to hook up to the television. So this thing was just packed full and did a great job. Uh, I have a bigger HDMI cable I took. And let's see here. That was a part that I don't need. I used, so this is what I used from a packing standpoint. I used the uh, Peak Designs. It's the uh, small packing cube. And that's got all my clothes that I needed for two days. In addition to that, oh, Huh. Also, one of the cool things I got. So, talk about a really, like, man, this is awesome. So, I was given, uh, I got gifted the Matador 25 liter packable duffel. And so, that was my theory on this whole process was, I'm going to take the packable duffel with. And so, if I get out there and I buy something, I get something. Because this was pretty much packed. Because what you're not seeing is I had, it was Indianapolis and it's cold. And it's cold in Pennsylvania. Um, so I had a, like a hoodie, like an Under Armour hoodie thing. It was kind of thicker, but not super thick. And so after I packed all this stuff in and put the hoodie in there for the flight, um, this thing was, was packed to the max. So had a packable duffel just in case if I needed more, uh, I could still do carry on that, that way, right? This would be my personal item. This would be my carry on and I'd be in good shape from that standpoint. Um, I got a medical kit and I always go everywhere with a pack towel. So that is all that's in there. I have an additional tablet, uh, this just paper tablet here, and I took my MacBook Pro. I've been using the Boundary Supply field space, but when I started packing this all out, there was no way I could use that with everything that I got in this. It just, it wasn't happening. So, so that's it, right? Completely empty. Um, love the gray, the high visibility. I'm such a fan of not a black interior. So that was freaking awesome because you can actually find the stuff. So one of the things that really changed my thought process on the CHZ, my old CHZ, the 22, um, doesn't have this extra pocket. And I think the new ones do now. Um, and this is, if you're, if you're looking at the bag like this, where it's working for you in this process where this flap is over, um, Evergoods, again, was thinking really sharp and they put this pocket reverse, right? It's upside down where you actually work downward, um, but that way stuff doesn't just spill out all over the place, which is pretty cool. And so deodorant, checkbook, gloves, and a little microfiber towel in there, nothing major. Um, and then last but not least, um, it's kind of, I would consider this, let me not knock my laptop off my desk. So this pouch is more, I feel like you access it more with the bag sort of like this, right? So it's almost a second quick access pouch for me. So I have my, my, you know, the one on top there has my wireless charger and some stuff in it. And then this kind of had a couple of the other products and stuff I need, right? So I finally used my hero clip. I think it was the Philadelphia airport. I don't know. One of the airports didn't have a hook and, uh, um, there he used that. So, uh, wireless mouse, a couple snacks, some pistachios, stuff like that. Markers, contact solution, nothing major, but just some stuff I need to get to quick access, I can get in there. This was a lifesaver for me because this pouch is that, it's got that additional volume as you can kind of see that in there. Um, 
And so you can pack a bunch of stuff in there and zipper it, and it kind of comes out. And same thing with this guy, and oh, it was amazing. So it was just fantastic. I really can't say enough. Um, I don't want to sound like I'm over exaggerating, but um, the bag itself, uh, my, my buddy Manny was asking about concerns over wear or over uh, materials kind of showing signs of wear or scratches or stuff like that. I mean, I literally kicked this thing underneath my seat a couple times. It was super comfortable as far as the padding and the back. Um, I can't say enough. I, in my opinion, right now, this just felt like home for me. This was, this was it. Um, and I haven't moved away from it since I got it. The only other bag I'm thinking of right now and I have my eye on is the Civic Travel Bag 26 liter, which is right now not a normal Evergoods. It's that uh, Evergoods Carryology. I'm not a huge fan of the materials they use in that. They use a sailcloth, I believe. It's the, uh, I forget the name of it at the moment, but um, just, I, I don't like the noisiness of it. And so I might, and then the price is kind of crazy. Um, the carryology stuff is always like five, 600 bucks. And I just find that a little bit too much for a bag in my opinion. So there are some rumors that Evergoods might develop and design a standard uh, Civic Travel Bag 26. The cool thing about that is I feel like same size, but the CTB 26 does give you a little more access to, there's a separate laptop pouch in the back that kind of comes down the side, which is pretty cool. Uh, same kind of organization. I think there's a pocket or two more. Um, this is for, in my opinion, this is the minimal amount of organizational pockets I need, right? Um, but yeah, the bottle holders are second to none. You know, I'm a fanatic for that. I can't say enough. It was a fantastic, fantastic bag that I will pack right back up besides the stuff that I don't need and, uh, and be rocking and rolling with because I have just been very pleased with this backpack. Um, probably my fave of all the ones I've used so far. So hopefully you find this helpful. Um, have an amazing day. Thank you, everyone.